What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip video for you. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some tips that are helpful to architects in their modeling workflows. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I do wanna note this week's SketchUp videos are brought to you by the extension Placemaker. So Placemaker is the smart city creation tool that allows you to create entire cities with one click in SketchUp from everything from buildings to roads to rivers. So if you wanna check that out, make sure you visit the SketchupEssentials.com com slash placemaker to get your six month free trial. All right, so tip one is to model using components. One of the great benefits about using components in your model is every version of a component that you change is a copy of another. So that if you change one version of a component, all the other instances change as well. Model repeating objects as components to be able to quickly and easily make changes to your model in the future. A little planning up front can save you a lot of time in the future when doing this. Tip two. Use the outliner to keep your model organized. Use the outliner as soon as you start modeling to keep your model organized. Group things like walls, doors, windows, and everything else to be able to quickly hide, show, and find different objects in your model. This organization can make it a lot easier once your model starts getting really complicated to find and work with the things that you need. Tip three, use the 3D warehouse. One of the best things about SketchUp is access to the 3D warehouse. Hundreds of thousands of models are available for free for download. You can use the warehouse to find everything from furniture to cars to people. To save time, try to get as many things into your model from the warehouse as you can instead of modeling them yourself. Tip four, purge unused items in your model. When you bring objects into your model, especially from the 3D warehouse, sometimes they leave extra stuff in your model that isn't doing anything but slowing it down. Things like unused groups or leftover materials, that sort of thing. Use the purge unused option to remove all that extra stuff to speed up your model. Tip 5. Import custom textures from the 3D warehouse. In addition to being able to download models from the 3D Warehouse, SketchUp 2017 introduced the ability to directly download textures out of a 3D Warehouse model. Simply navigate to the model that you want, go over to the Materials section, and click on a material to download it into your model. Alright, so I'm running out of time today, so I'm going to have to split this into two videos. Uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought about the first half. Uh, did you find these helpful? Um, is there something you'd like to see me cover in the second half of the video? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. For new SketchUp content every week, click that subscribe button. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider visiting my support me page on my website. That's the SketchUpEssentials.com slash support. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.